Hi guys, this is me Tulsi Kumar and I am with Rolling Stone India. Well, I think uh, you know in music in itself we get to see a lot of trends and uh, I'll say that I too follow trends. I mean I uh, see everything that's happening. I hear a lot of music. But I think for every artist, end of the day, it's the zone and genre that suits them and their tonality and vocals the most is what they stick to. So for me, uh, I really like the whole unplugged, the lo-fi vibe. Uh, so yeah, you will hear my voice a lot in that. Yes, it is a trend that's going on these days. But I think at the same time, my voice blends very well with that trend and only then I follow it. So uh, I've done a lot of Bollywood songs in the past and I've done different zones and genres in Bollywood uh, whether it's like romantic to like fast peppy you know very beaty numbers uh, so I wanted to do something different when I was exploring the indie space of music uh, and I came out with the Truly Connected series and the first song of which is Tu Mera and the second is Avara and as you said yes they have a very very minimalistic Again, I would say the whole unplugged uh, zone, you know, the arrangements are very, very um, subtle. We just have the guitars and very minimalistic approach. And uh, as I said, uh, you know, these series, truly connected series for me are actually, uh, you know, these songs are about me connecting with my fans one on one. So it's literally like I'm singing for them, like just sit sitting right next to them and singing on the guitar with them. Uh, so yeah, that was the whole concept behind uh, the Truly Connected series and the songs that you'll be hearing. So every month I'll be releasing a song and uh, I, I think in this entire process of bringing out indie songs for my uh, fans, I've, I'm learning a lot. So yeah, it's a very, very enriching process for me and I've also turned lyrics writer with the second song. So yeah, it's, it's a great experience. So I think for every artist, what you are usually reflects in your songs in some way or the other. I'm a very, very spiritual person and uh, my day begins with going to the temple in the morning and that's also, you know, what I've seen my parents do. So I think I get it from them and uh, for me, uh, expressing myself through my songs, uh, whether it is for God or for anything that I love uh, is something that's very very important and uh, that's the reason I flow into a lot of devotional songs and lately I've done uh, I mean I've been doing it from the start of my career and lately I've, I've you know I'm initiating to do more of devotional as well and I've just released uh, a song uh, which is called Achyutam Keshavam and a yeah, lot more. Pop trend I think uh, you know as we spoke in the start uh, there are a lot of trends that keep coming and uh, something that, that I personally connect to is the lo-fi space, uh, the indie pop space that I'm uh, currently exploring and kind of, you know, taking out newer kind of songs because I remember when the song Tu Mera came out, a lot of people said that you're sounding very different because it's a very, very, you know, it's also in a different key and a different scale. So I think the whole idea of uh, exploring yourself as an artist with different genres of music is what independent music is all about and I'm totally enjoying it. Well, Ashiki 2 in itself has been a great, great uh, project. Uh, and Ashiki 1, which was produced by my father, there's an emotional connect for me. I was very, very little when I uh, heard the songs of Ashiki and they were brought home even before their release. So I have a huge connect with that film. And uh, here I was in 2013, uh, the playback voice of two songs from Ashiki 2, Hum Mar Jayenge and Piyayana. For me, it was a very, very emotional moment because I knew somewhere Every song that I sing is, you know, heard by my father. But this film in particular has a very, very, uh, uh, you know, special place in my heart. And I'm so glad that the music of Ashiki 2 
kind of uh, surpassed you know every expectation because usually it's very difficult to kind of redo something that that's already been done on a very very massive scale and gotten a major response so yeah i'm very proud of the entire team the entire music team the entire team that kind of uh, uh, made the film so yeah ashiki too and the songs hold a very very special place in my heart uh well you know this is something that you can't uh, create a balance between what film songs you're getting and but definitely with independent songs you know what you want to do a film song is offered to me sometimes you know after 3 months 4 months and then i have sung a couple of songs but i don't know when they are due for release uh but i think with independent music i exactly know uh you know now i with truly connected series i have this uh deadline in mind that i want to take out a song every month for my audiences so yeah uh i mean it's not that i'm i'm deliberately not doing film songs because i'm focusing on this but this is what is happening uh the indie stuff and the uh, film songs will come when they come so you'll hear me uh in both 2023 um i've already come out with two songs now before this was a collaboration with Jubin Nautial the song Masta Ke of course a lot of devotional songs coming up this year uh more songs from the truly connected series so the one in may and june is pending july august so we have uh, five songs in that and uh, yeah a couple of films lined up as well so it's a good lineup for me